Okay, so today we're going to be um, learning about layers. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. So file new or control N, either way. Um, width and height, I'm just going to put for 500 both. And color mode, you want RGB. And then 16 bit or 8 bit, whichever one, or 32 bit even if you have that. And the background contents, I usually just choose white because you can always change it and then um, I press F to go in full screen mode it's a lot easier for me and okay so initially you're always gonna have a background and until you create other layers you can't delete that you can't do anything with it so create a new layer you have the button second to the right that you click on and then that'll create a new layer for you um, if you're wanting like more options for the layer, um, you press Control Shift N, and that'll bring up like a new layer window, and then you can choose like right off the bat um, the name of the layer. So I don't know, we, it autom it's automatically named Layer One, so we'll just keep it as that. You can choose a color. Um, what that does is it actually colors the layer. I'll show you in a second. So, and then um, the rest of it's good. So we'll just click OK. And what happens, that red, as you can see, it kind of just tags it as a red. Um, when you have, like, hundreds of layers, and it happens, <laughs> I've had, like, 400 layers some in one of my um, things that I've done. And it gets a little bit hard to find your way around, so you can color code them, and it makes it a little bit easier. Alright, so, first off, we're going to paint on it. So I, choose, I chose a brush, um, I pressed B, that's a shortcut to choose it. So just choose uh, an orange for now, why not? And just you know, do whatever with it. Obviously you're probably gonna have a little more method to your madness if you're actually not wanting to do something crappy in Photoshop. <laughs> I just kinda scribbled around to show you. Um so we have the first layer and we can do, you know, you can click on the background you click on the first layer and that what that does is select um, each different layer and basically that brings focus to that layer so what happens is if I clicked on the background um, it would only draw let me choose a different color it would only draw on the background and nowhere else so that's the backgrounds underneath layer one so naturally it, um, you're coloring underneath the first layer Okay, so um, if you click on layer one again, um, it'll bring focus to it again, which means that you can um, you can color on that again. So as you can see, it's back on layer one and it's coloring above it. Um, what you can do is um, if there's something on a lower layer that you want to see more clearly um, without the layers above it interfering, there's a little eye button and you just click that and it'll um, hide that layer until you click on the eye or where the eye was again and then it'll just bring it back so while you while you have focus of a layer you can choose the move tool um, shortcut for that is V and you can click anywhere and move it around you can press control T to rotate it um, you can do a number of things with that layer. So, let's see. Once you create another layer, you can see um, a little bit more what we're doing with this. Um, the background layer, you can't move around. It's locked in there. You can't move it side to side. You can't, um, you know, you just can't really do anything with it. You can't choose blending modes, you can't choose opacity, um, fill, anything. So we have the first layer, which is kind of um, just whatever on it. Uh, hold on a second, I'm going to delete what was on the background layer. Okay, so we have the first layer, which is this right here. And we have layer two, which has nothing on it right now. So let's just choose the brush tool again, the pencil tool, or whatever you want to do and then just
create some artwork on there. <laughs> so as you can see, once again, you're moving around just that layer. And then once you click on one, layer 1 again, you can move that one around. What you can also do, um, if you change your mind and you want the black lines underneath the... Um, it's not really gold, but the goldish color and the green, you just you click on that layer and you hold down and you move it there so that it switches it. Um, let's see here. Alright, if you want to delete your layer, you just take the entire thing, you drag it off from there and you hit it right into the trash can. Just drop it in there. Or you can click on the layer itself, click the delete button, or I yeah, you can right click it and choose delete layer. Um there's like three different ways to do it. I'm sure there's other ways. Probably here. Yeah, layer, delete. I'm sure there's probably even more ways than four. So but so you have your two different layers and um, in in the earlier versions of Photoshop, you actually have um, a second little box here. It's for linking the layers. Um, I have Photoshop CS2. Um, it's a little bit different. It's you actually you hold down Control, and you can select multiple layers. Um, I'm going to show you what that'll do in a second. So let's just create a new layer real quick. Um, draw another random bit of whatever on there and we can do is let's say you want both these layers above the blue one you can click on layer one and then hold down control um, and click on the second layer and you can move both of those at the same time so as you can see the black and the gold green layer um, moves in front of the, the blue one and then you can use, take the blue and black one, move that over the other one, and so on. Um, for the most part, that's all you have for layers. Um, I can always, uh, if you have any questions, just ask, and I can cover it in the next tutorial, or answer in a reply, or whatever.